Look, there is a lot of um, advice in the marketplace that's not strictly based on science. I like to call it bro science. And, and a lot of people work on what their mates are doing. You know, my friend uses this product, so I'm going to use this product. Or this guy in the gym said to use this for recovery. So, you know, there's a lot of that. And there's a lot of re-educating with athletes uh, in particular about what types of foods to eat around training. And, um, you know, one of the biggest issues with athletes is they, try, well, they, they like to eat lots and lots of protein and not eat the right amount of carbohydrate, which is the muscle fuel. So, you know, they're probably the more common things that we would, would touch on. Uh, but, it, yeah, if you get on the internet, there's a lot of information that just... It's not that it's incorrect, it's perhaps been interpreted in the wrong way. Um, and, you know, if you look at a, a website that's trying to sell a certain sports product, of course they're going to, you know, what they write about that product, they're going to, you know, try and say it will improve performance. But, you know, what part of performance are they talking about? It might not be applicable to, to a triathlete or a runner or a cyclist or a swimmer uh, at all. It might make you lift more dumbbells, but that doesn't necessarily translate to, to being a faster athlete.